Last night, my phone is buzzing. This usually happens when there's some breaking news. And as I wake up from the bed and I'm still tired, I notice the uh, U.S. president had cancer removed. I'm like, whoa, like, this is serious. Should I wake up? Should I talk about it? And then I go and I check to see what's going on and, oh, he had a mole removed. All right, I'm going back to bed. I'll talk about it tomorrow, which is today, which is now. Uh, yeah, so... Due to the age of the United States president, it's not uncommon for people to have this type of uh, health effects. Uh, he was diagnosed with uh, basal cell carcinoma. It's a very common type of skin cancer. It very rarely spreads or metastasizes. However, it can grow. And it grows and it grows and then it uh, starts to affect the life of the patient. Also, as I mentioned previously, it's very unlikely to spread or metastasize. But it can happen, because it's still a cancer. So every time these things are being diagnosed, they are being removed. The procedure is quite simple. The U.S. president has undergone it, and apparently he is fine. Uh, this does not even require a general anesthesia. It's just local. Yeah, I mean, due to the age of the man, it's expected that uh, this type of health issues are going to arrive. The older a person gets, the more likely it is that uh, they can have a type of cancer or another. Uh, this is why the number of cancer has increased in recent decades, because as medicine advances and people are able to get to an older age, uh, the chance of getting cancer starts to increase. Now, what I did find interesting is the observation of why left-wing people have such a bad PR when it comes to tolerance. Because usually it happens that when a right-wing person is suffering from something, you will see a lot of people on the internet that are left-leaning wishing that person ill health or being happy, being glad, being cheerful that the person is suffering. Like, for example, when Total Biscuit passed away, there were many left-leaning people that were cheering that. Or, for example, when Thunderfoot's dad passed away, there were many people that were contacting Thunderfoot and they were very glad that it happened. And you'll notice this almost constantly. Like, if J.K. Rowling was to get sick tomorrow, I guarantee you, I am willing to bet you would have people on Twitter and on other social media platforms being happy that she's sick. However, when a left-leaning person gets sick, like, uh, let's say, in this situation, Joe Biden, or if you have someone else that the left likes, if they are getting sick, you will not notice right-wingers cheering because that is happening. And I think I know why, because right now, we have the perfect opportunity to view both sides and notice how they're acting to a person suffering. Yesterday, it was in the news that Andrew Tate may be diagnosed with lung cancer, which is a very serious form of cancer, has a low survivability rate compared to other types. And when you look at the internet, especially on Twitter, you see a lot of people cheering, being happy, being glad that he is suffering, wishing him the worst. Today, we have the U.S. president being diagnosed with a more treatable and more simple form of cancer. And you don't see right-wingers cheering and being happy. And I think the reason for that is that if you're cheering when a left-leaning person is suffering, you get banned by social media. So, terms of service violation, uh, you're going to be dogpiled by other people that are going to dig through your past to see if you ever said anything edgy or problematic and use that in order to try to cancel you, mass flagging, mass reporting. While when it happens with left-leaning people, usually even if you report them, nothing happens. And right-wingers aren't that interested. I mean, they don't have that much time of the day in order to go through a person's entire social media records to see if they ever made an edgy joke. It does happen every now and then, by the way. Like, if you manage to seriously piss off right-wingers, then they may do that. But usually, the activists on the right, they're not as dedicated and they don't have that much free time in order to just go through a person's social media. So what ends up happening is that uh, right-wingers, uh, they may be cheering. Like, we don't know. Like, they may be happy, but like they're not manifesting that in public, at least not on social media. Meanwhile, because there are no barriers, left-leaning people are more openly to do that. And we noticed this when Elon Musk took over Twitter. The rules started applying to everyone, right? Including journalists. So, for example, Twitter used to have a very strong rule against doxing. And I noticed politicians, activists, um, important figureheads on the left constantly doxing over the years. But nothing was done against them. 
Elon Musk comes in, all of a sudden, people on the left, they, they had no filter, they, they had no ability to control what they express in public, and they're getting banned, and then they're upset, and they're crying about free speech. And uh, there was another one where impersonation is also not a thing which is allowed on Twitter. Like, if you're a blue check mark, you're not allowed to change your name and try to impersonate someone because the blue check mark was the verification. And we noticed this happening with Ethan Klein. Like, he immediately pretended to be Elon Musk. He immediately tried to ruin Elon's reputation and then go speak at your face when he gets banned. But he didn't get banned because the rule was meant specifically for him. He got banned for violating a rule that existed on the platform for years. And when he did get banned for it, it seemed unfair. Because, again, like, for people that... I, I can't even say, like, people on the left. I guess, like, people who do activism on left-leaning ideologies' behalf. On social media, they have gotten a green pass. And because of that, the people who aren't in their group, they are more likely to filter themselves. They are more likely to speak in a way in order to avoid getting banned. And on top of that, you also have to look at the bans. Like when a lot of right-wingers get banned, well, obviously the people with no filter, the people that um, are, are like the left likes to call them the hillbillies, right? The ones that do not behave well in public. Well, they have been gone from the platform for a long time ago. But the left has their own equivalent of those. You know, the people that shave their head or have like weird hair colors and uh, they go around harassing people on social media. There is no filter for them. I mean, they can say whatever they want. They can say that playing a video game kills people, right? They can say the most bad shit and say crazy things. They're not going to be banned for harmful and misinformation or for spreading conspiracy theories. They're going to be allowed to be on the platform. And they're going to behave in a, a very unhinged way, which is going to make their entire side look bad. And by comparison, the people on the right who lack those individuals, right? I, I don't think like the right says that if you play a video game, you're going to end up killing people. Which is interesting because they used to do that. Like we used to have the Jack Thompsons on the right. We used to have Fox News every single time there was a shooting in the United States came out and blamed video games. Like those people existed, but they got banned. And because they got banned now, everyone else that's left on the right, they speak in a different manner. They, they know how to avoid breaking the terms of service. And they look more presentable. They, they look uh, more decent, I guess. Because wishing bad health on someone that's being diagnosed with cancer, I'm pretty sure it's something that you wouldn't want other people to do to you or your family members. Like, it's just something impolite and rude. And at the end of the day, you're not changing anything, right? Like, you're not influencing the universe with your ill wills. You're just showing to other people that you're not a decent person. Let me know what you guys think, though, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.